very quiet. We don't want to disturb the wild primate. The number of primate in this area has increased tremendously in the past few years, so Professor Oak has asked me to help him. I have to scope out their habitat area and note any other Pokemon I see. He gave me this coordinate grid. He said it's like a map. Professor Oak wrote some notes. Avoid the points marked primate on the map. When you spot other Pokemon, mark them on the map. Hmm, this looks like a typical map. Origin must be where I start, which looks like this rock. But these number pairs, negative 1, comma, negative 4, and negative 4, comma, negative 1, seem a lot alike. If I mix these up, I could run into some wild primate, and I don't want that to happen. What's that? Oh, just Pidgey. Well, I'm a bit nervous now anyway. Let's call Ada on the Pokepilot. She can help us out with this. Hola, Tracy. What's up? Hey, Ada. I'm out here in a primate habitat doing research for Professor Oak. Oh, okay. I'll keep my voice down. Is everything okay? Well, this map Professor Oak gave me looks a little different. It's got these pairs of numbers on it, and, uh, you know, I, I don't want to misread them. I understand. Let's see it. Oh, I see. He's given you a grid. It's often referred to as the XY plane. Because of the X and the Y? Exactly. The x-axis is always this horizontal line. So this must be the y-axis. That's right. The y-axis is always vertical. Hey, I know how I can remember that. Y's tail makes it look longer. It almost looks vertical. That's a good trick, Tracy. Now, why do you think the point in the middle where the axes cross is called the origin? The origin? It's like the word originates, so it must be where you start. Exactly. So how do these pairs of numbers work? They're called ordered number pairs. The X number always comes first. It's called the X coordinate. The Y coordinate is always second. So the X number is a point along the X axis. Oh, I get it. And the Y number is a point along the Y axis. Just remember, ordered pairs are always written the same way. In parentheses, with the X coordinate number first, a comma, followed by the Y coordinate in parentheses. Like this, 4, 2. So how would you get to the point 4, 2 on the map? Um, go over to the 4 on the X axis, then turn and go up to 2. Perfect. This is easy. In that case, let me point out one more thing. What's that? If you understand how the quadrants work, it's easy to know where your points are. I saw quadrants on the map. Is that how the X and the Y axes divide the map into four sections? You got it. Four quadrants. See how the numbers along the X axis to the right of the Y axis are positive numbers, but to the left of the Y axis they're negative? And then the numbers along the Y axis but above the X axis are positive, but the numbers below the X axis are negative? Yeah. Well, that means both of the numbers for any order pair in quadrant one will be positive. And in quadrant 2, the X coordinate is always negative, while the Y coordinate is always positive. I get it. And in quadrant 3, both the X coordinate and the Y coordinate are negative. And in quadrant 4, the X coordinate is positive, but the Y coordinate is negative. You got it! Shh! I think I heard something. Oh, sorry. Let's try a couple before you set out on your own. We don't want you to take a wrong turn. Good idea. Let's find the various places Professor Oak has marked on our grid map. Let's review. Click on the x-axis. That's right! The x-axis is horizontal. Now click on the y-axis. Correct! The y-axis is vertical. Now. Which one of these is an ordered number pair? That's right! Ordered pairs are always written with the X coordinate, a comma, then the Y coordinate, all in parentheses. Which one of these ordered number pairs is the origin? That's right! The origin is where the two axes meet. Now, in which quadrant would you find the ordered pair 2, negative 3? 
click on the correct quadrant on the grid. That's right! The ordered pair, 2 comma negative 3, is found in quadrant 4. You did it! Over 2 and down negative 3. Good job! And good luck! Thanks! Can you help me look for Pokemon? I want to go to the grassy area in Quadrant 1. Professor Oak said that 10 feet is one number on the grid. Drag a line to the X then Y coordinates to get to point 4, 4. Look, what do you see? Let's check out the other grassy area. Drag a line to the X then Y coordinates to get to point negative 5 comma 4. Do you see anything here? Maybe the Pokemon around here are taking a nap. Let's check out the river in quadrant 3. What do you think we'll find there? Drag a line to get to point negative 4 comma negative 3. Look, what do you see? Magic carp. We haven't checked out the forest in quadrant 4. Let's go there. Drag a line to the X then Y coordinates to get to point 2, comma, negative 3. Look, what do you see? Berry bushes. But no Pokemon here. Why don't you pick a point? Just stay away from the primate. Great! What do you see? Now type the ordered number pair so we can mark it on the map. Professor Oak is going to be glad to get this map. Thanks for your help. I'm out of here. Try again. Remember, the x-axis is horizontal. Try again. Remember, the x-axis is horizontal. Try again. Remember, the y-axis is the vertical line. Not quite. Remember, ordered pairs are always written with the x-coordinate a comma, then the y-coordinate, all in parentheses. Try again. Remember, the origin is where we start at the center. Try again. The x-coordinate is a positive number, and the y-coordinate is a negative number. Try again. Remember to go over 2 on the x-axis, and then from there, go down to negative 3. Oh no, an angry primate! Try again. Let's try again. Hmm, I don't think that's it. Why don't you pick a point? Just stay away from the primate. ape. 
great. What do you see? Try again. Try again.